Well done, Cameron. House called it. The arm and legs are unrelated. You make enough calls, one of them is bound to be right. Yeah. He's just a lucky, lucky guy. <laughs> listen, listen. I just think it wouldn't hurt him to learn a little humility. So what's the verdict? Embolus. The arm problem was caused by a clot. There's a good chance we can still bust the clot with TPA. Do it. See what happens to his arm. We found a blood clot in your brain. We'd like to start you on heparin. It's a blood thinner. What are the side effects? Well, your lungs are kind of chewed up from the pneumonia. Good chance it'll be an infusion. Bleeding? Uh, into his lungs. It's our best chance to give you back the use of your arm. I don't need my arm without my air. Well, the damage would likely be minimal. No. It's his call. <sighs> or we could do an embolectomy. Basically, we go in and pull the clot out. He's saying no to drugs and you're recommending brain surgery? Bypasses the risk to the lungs. It'll either help your arm or... or it'll kill me. From your point of view, it's a win-win. Okay. We'll set up the procedure for today. We're in your carotid artery. This is going to take us all the way up into your brain. You all right? Yes. The sludge is blocking the blood flow to the part of the brain that controls your arm. Well done. You still okay? He now has feeling all the way up to the calf. This is the way medicine evolved. The patients sometimes get better. You have no idea why, but unless you give a reason, they won't pay you. Anybody notice if there's a full moon? You're saying you just spontaneously got better? You no, know, I'm saying let's rule out the lunar god and go from there. Something he's on is working. The enzyme replacement protocol is working, reversing the ALS. The timing doesn't seem suspicious to you. <laughs> Do you think Dr. House will see it that way? Figure it's his medication doing the job? <laughs> I'm sure he will. It's one of ours. How do we figure out which drug is doing the trick? Easy. Stop all of them. One of those drugs is helping him. And the rest? Steroids, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, they're toxic. We leave them on all of them. He'll walk again. Yeah, to his own funeral. But if we stop everything, he'll get worse. True. Then we'll add our medications back one at a time. When he gets better, then we'll have our answer. And if he doesn't get better? Then we're in trouble. Not as much as he is. I suppose that was your point. I assume you want me to convince Hamilton to stop his treatments, too. Don't care. You know at least five of the medications are part of his protocol. If his stuff was helping, the guy would be playing tennis months ago. It's our round of treatment that's helping. <laughs> right. So that's what should stop. So your philosophy is, if they don't want treatment, they get it shoved down their throat. But if it might cure their paralysis, well, we'll better slow down. Yeah. Yes, Doctor, I My old philosophy used to be live and let live. But I'm taking this needlepoint class, and they gave us these really big pillows. What's your philosophy on employee relations? That's a very tiny pillow. Great. It sounds like you know what you're doing. Greg, can I board? Can it wait for the commercial? Marty, say hi to my friend Jimmy. Pleasure. Your diagnostic trial. Seriously, the commercial is in about five minutes. That's a dangerous game. Only if we're watching in the bathtub. I need to know exactly what medications you were giving John Henry. Forget it. An informant tells you what John Henry used to be on. You're gonna fire him? Nope. I'll make him live out every day of his two-year contract. Foreman has to leave? Not yet. But how do you know I made him... You're a polite twit, but you're not an idiot. I need to know what medications you've taken him off of. Wait a second. You're not an idiot. You need to know what medications I've stopped, because he's getting worse. Right now, you still work for me. Come on. No 
feeling and a wiggling. Bad news is John Henry's back where he started. The good news is Hamilton looks bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether the other guy loses. What's the first thing we put him on? Steroids for the pneumonia. We'll put him back on them, give him 24 hours, see what happens. His lungs aren't great. It might cause another respiratory collapse. Sure, hope not. Be much like that lawyer and get an MRI. You already got one and an MRI. Well, obviously something is different now. Do it again. Let's Chase, take care of the scan. Cameron, put him on the steroids. We should probably talk, huh?